Fox Media cuts staff and slows down hiring as recession fears grow. And just like Clownfish predicted, I see a lot, a lot more attacks on YouTubers because of this. Because as they keep bleeding money and getting fired, they're going to attack us as if it's our fault that they're going out of business. When they did this all to themselves, like maybe if they'd quit lying all the time, maybe if they'd quit with the clickbait. So Dave Rubin covered this as well. Um, well they, they did a study on these journalists and well over half of them believe that no we shouldn't say you know, we shouldn't give both sides of the story because one side is misinformation that's the type of people we're dealing with so i will definitely deviate from clownfish here because then you know, they, they were of course playing nice like oh yeah i don't like seeing it when anyone loses their job no one deserves to lose their job i call bullshit these people do deserve to lose their jobs there is one legit reason to lose your job when you're fucking shit at it. You should lose your job. And that describes the, this clickbait fake news media and everyone working for him to a T. And do you expect me to feel sorry for him after all the hit pieces and attacks they've launched at myself and everyone around me trying to get us deplatformed? Look at what fucking Taylor Lawrence did to libs of TikTok. God, like, trying to get her fired and deplatformed everywhere, showing up to her parents' house to harass her family. You expect me to feel sorry when these fuckers lose their jobs after all they've done? No, they deserve it. Unlike Clownfish, I got zero sympathy for them. In fact, the world is going to be a better place. Now that all these, the, these fucking smear merchant jobs are disappearing, there's nothing bad going on here at all. And if they don't like it, they can learn to code. Now that, that's all the sympathy they showed coal miners who were being put out of work. Oh, just learn to code. Okay. So now that your profession is on the chopping block, uh, notice that they, uh, th they block and ban you for saying that. I wonder why. Now, Vox Media is laying off 39 employees in sales recruiting in certain editorial teams. Yeah, and uh, again, pointing out some of Clownfish's great analysis of this situation. When they start laying off sales and recruiting, that's basically them saying we're not hiring any more people and we're not looking to sell anything anymore. Like This, this is what happens when a company is winding down. They're, they're getting ready to shut down. So good news coming in the future. So New York Magazine, Vox, and The Verge aren't affected by the layoffs yet. Now, the layoffs could be a sign media companies are preparing for a recession, which uh, CNBC survey respondents suggest could officially come in December. Now, no, the recession is already officially here, but your installed leader decided to fuck around with the definition of a recession. Yeah, so Memology put out a great video showing one of these fake news journalists Oh, it's, oh, yeah, look, two straight quarters of decline. We're in a recession under Trump. And now that it's happening under Brandon, oh, come on, there's a lot more intricacies to it. We're not in a recession, guys. And they wonder why no one trusts them. So just a month ago, media executives expressed optimism that their companies are well positioned for an economic slowdown. Every company ever is optimistic when talking to their shareholders. Hey, you know all of you suckers out there who gave us billions of your dollars? Don't worry about it. It's coming along great, guys. Look, I mean, if we just have a little slump, it's temporary as we uh, implement our future plans. The Vox Media may have injected a dose of reality into the industry Wednesday. The privately held digital media companies laying off 39 employees, according to a person familiar with the matter, the, uh, as well as slowing down hiring and re reducing non-essential expenses. So you're going to shut down your whole fake news division? No, job cuts affect employees in sales recruiting and certain editorial teams. New York Magazine and The Verge, brands owned by Vox Media and the company's namesake outlet Vox, aren't affected by the layoffs, according to people familiar with the matter, who also asked not to be named because the decisions are private. The company's brands also include Eater, Curbed, and Now This. A spokesperson for Vox Media declined to comment. Yeah, you know what's going on. With it, there, there doesn't need to be any more comments on this. 
other than ha ha. Then a member of the staff, Vox Media CEO Jim Bankoff, uh, directly cited deteriorating economic conditions for their decision. And uh, trust me, over here on the YouTube side, we're all um, we're all preparing for a downturn as well. Well, a lot of us have already seen one. Because let's be honest, unlike these fake news journalists, us YouTubers understand that we're um, we're we're like the definition of a want, not a need. Yeah, entertainment is the first thing that gets cut when when people have to tighten the belt. But I guess these guys thought they were important. Oh, I, I, I'm a urinalist. I'm changing the world. I'm a, I have a super important job. No, you don't. Get some fucking self-awareness, man. Uh, the current economic conditions are impacting companies like ours in multiple ways, with supply chain issues reducing marketing and advertising budgets uh, across industries and economic pressures changing the ways that consumers spend. The bank I've wrote to a member attained by CNBC. Our aim is to get ahead of the greater uncertainty by making difficult but important decisions to pare back our initiatives and uh, lower, that are lower priority and have staffing needs for the current climate. Oh, at least they didn't call it right-sizing. Yeah, one of the VPs at one of my previous jobs, and they were doing layoffs. Yeah, they didn't call it downsizing. They called it right-sizing. Yeah, that, that totally makes the people who got right-sized feel better about it. You know, he said in a memo that the cuts affect under 2% of the company so far. Now, earlier this year, Vox Media Group acquired nine, adding hundreds of employees to the company. Vox uh, derives the majority of its revenue from advertising. So remember when these fuckers triggered an adpocalypse against YouTubers? Wouldn't it be funny if they got some payback? Uh, several employees at Thrillist, one of the brands acquired by Group 9 Deal, uh, twatted out Wednesday they've been laid off. The digital media industry hasn't uh, gotten the valuation bump executives hoped might happen with BuzzFeed's decision to go public. Oh, let's see how well this went. BuzzFeed went public via a SPAC uh, at uh, $10 per share in December. Seven months later, BuzzFeed shares are below $2. <laughs> <laughs> so they had an over 80% drop. Oops. The Vox's decision to cut staff may be the tip of the iceberg for media. Yeah, and I I've seen this happen. So one of the companies that I was laid off for, so they did a bunch of layoffs before the one that I was in. And then I, I thought it was a big layoff when I was hit because they, they, they said like 10% of the company was let go. But a few months later, they were letting go 80%. So I thought 10% was big. Yeah, you know, since 2000, uh, a, on a year-by-year -year basis, the biggest of the three years for uh, job losses in the industry all coincided with recessions. The current year minus two uh, government lockdowns. The uh, current year minus, what was that, 15 to minus 13 financial crisis. And the uh, current year minus 21 dot-com bubble burst. And now there's going to be the current year, Brandon recession. So, oh God, how funny is this going to be, guys? I can see it now. Even as they're all losing their jobs, they're still going to be towing the party line claiming there is no recession. As they're being let out the door, they have all their shit in a cardboard box. Like the things are going great, guys. There's no recession. Brandon is awesome. Woo! <laughs> I was saying Brandon depression. No, it's not a depression yet. It's only in the recession stage right now. But the depression's coming. Now, officially, the uh, NBER defines a recession as a significant decline in economic activity that has spread across the economy and lasts for more than a few months. It's two quarters. More than 60% of respondents to a CNBC survey this week predicted the Federal Reserve's efforts to rein in inflation by hiking rates would lead to a recession. Of those who predict a recession in the next 12 months, most believe it will begin in December. It began now. Now, U.S. inflation rose 9.1% in June, the highest jump in 40 years. And it's actually even higher than that. It's like they don't count shit like food in in recession, uh, in, uh, or sorry, in in their inflation calculations. It's just so dirty how they play these games. But no, we're we're in a recession right now. A depression is coming soon. And although you know, I'm I'm willing to tighten my belt and see if I can ride this out. But as long as all of these fucking fake news smear merchants get taken down, there's at least going to be a silver lining.